In March 1948, Clarence Walker became the first black player to play in a collegiate basketball national championship. When he played in the NAIB National Championship at Municipal Auditorium in Kansas City, playing for coach John Wooden's Indiana State Sycamores. During that tournament, Indiana State advanced to the national championship game, falling to Louisville. During Clarence's senior season, the Sycamores won the 1950 NAIB National Championship. As the only black player on his college team and one of the rare black players in college basketball at a non-historically black college in the 1940s, Walker endured tremendous hardship and racial prejudice during his career at Indiana State. Walker broke the color barrier in college basketball national championships, helping to further desegregate college basketball across America. Clarence Walker, Indiana State, and inductee into the 2018 class of the Small College Basketball Hall of Fame. Good evening, and grace to you and peace from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and our Father God. I come to you as representative of the Walker family to accept this great honor. This is a, a, a privilege. We don't take it lightly as a Walker family but it's being well done by John McCarthy. John and I talked about this as just an ideal back in 2008, Kansas City, the NAIA tournament then. Through his dream, his vision, his passion, and now his reality, it has come to fruition. I'm not gonna be Standing here long, you saw the video. John said basically everything that needed to be said. A uh, <clears throat> few things I just like to make mention. All you young basketball players right now, technology has changed the face of the game. Use your phones wisely. This is a journal from 19. Uh, 1946-47, that many years ago, that my dad typed. You guys got these phones? Whenever something significant happens to you, good, bad, or indifferent, journal it. Make that a part of your life. What I'm gonna do right now is just read one of the incidences that happened during that time. He basically titled this journal, this was written, I think, as a way of getting something off my mind. The title of it is Mr. JC. For you younger guys that really don't understand what that means, Jim Crow. This incident was January 3, 1948. We had a Midwest tournament in the college gym. During one game with Southeastern Oklahoma, a big fellow and I went up for a rebound. The ball came down near the back line. We both came down with the ball. He could not take the ball from me and I could not take the ball from him. Just before the whistle blew for the jump ball, the coach or one of the boys, and he has in parentheses, I think it was the coach, hollered, jerk that N-word's head off. Mr. Wooden heard him and told him, why don't you go back to Oklahoma? After the game, Mr. Wooden went into their dressing room and there was a big argument. I say that because one of John Wooden's quotes, he says, be more concerned with your character than your reputation because your character is what you really are while your reputation is merely what others think you are. Lastly, 
that is significant to me because it collaborates the opening statement of this journal. My dad writes, my opinion of Johnny Wooden, the coach of our basketball team, is that he is a wonderful coach. He is brilliant, brilliant in knowledge of basketball. As far as I know, he is not biased. I realize the fact that he is obligated to someone else. If all people were in mind as he is in character, I think Mr. JC would be trivial. And with that, I'd like to just thank John, thank the nominating committee, and as I said earlier at a luncheon, I'm a fan of all those nominees. May they have been contributors or players, and I still want my picture.